Hi everybody, this is Jeff, and welcome back to part four of my mini art kit number 35359, the Workstat Craft Wagon, 135th scale. I've made a little bit of progress this week, and I'll show you what I've got going on here. First off, I have a brand new set of tools. This is the tools that are included in the kit for the toolbox. Let's go in here a little bit on them. These are so tiny. But anyway, as you can see, there's five hammers. There's a number of wrenches, a torch, some gauges, toolbox, various accessories. These are all painted up. No, most of them will go in the little toolbox. Some of them will go in the uh, bucket that I have for, and I've also got this toolbox that some of them will go into. Let me get used to this camera still. So that's one of the toolboxes, and then some of the stuff will go in this um, little bucket. Okay. Here's the chassis. I believe I've got it all done now. Let me zoom in a little bit here. We had an issue with the front bumper last time. The uh, bracket that holds the bumper uh, had been broken. And when I put it back together, it just didn't quite fit right. What I did was I cut the bracket. I added a 0.75 mil piece of card, styrene, and uh, brought it out a little bit and that didn't really quite do it so I added another 0.5 so I brought it up to 1.75 mil 1.25 mil uh, spacer and I think that pretty well straightened it out I've also put the exhaust pipe on it and uh, I've got it to the touch up painting all done I may have to do a couple more little things to it, but I'm going to say that's pretty well done. I'll show you what else I've got here in just a second. Okay, guys. Here's my um, progress this week on the Workstat Craft Wagon. I've got the cowling, front fenders, and hood, and radiator painted. I need to paint in the black on the radiator. Just as I was turning this, uh, getting this all together, I broke the little support across the uh, front of the radiator, the headlights. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Um, this is just a little experiment I'm doing. I've got an overhead shot and a side shot. And I'm just going to kind of play with them and see how they all sync up here. So, this is, this is the... Uh, Basic chassis all pretty much done. I've got a few little adjustments to do to make sure everything is nice and square. And I've got to put the string wheel in and paint some of the details. But it looks like it's all uh, coming together pretty well. I'll take that off. And this can come off. This can come off, and that's the chassis. So I'll continue on with this. I've got the uh okay, guys. I've got just a little bit more to show you. Um, I've been doing a little bit of painting. You saw this a little bit earlier. This is the back. I didn't know for sure if these raised areas were supposed to be metal or wood so I picked metal <laughs> anyway uh, masked everything off I bought some tape off the internet that comes in lots of width I think I only paid about ten dollars for for uh, this whole bunch six, six different rolls Worked really good. 
didn't have any issues at all with anything sticking or you know pulling paint off or anything like that but uh, I masked all this off and I painted well at first I painted it with the uh, green then I painted it with the silver and then I came back and masked it again and I painted it for the exterior color when the um, sides go on you'll be able to see just that little bit of the um, of the fender so that's the exterior color and then the bottom is the exterior color I have no idea why they put so many holes in this but I left them I didn't think anybody would ever see them these two little holes here are for the seat there's only one seat and uh, they actually came with two and a bench seat, but I'm only going to be using that one. I've got it all painted up, but uh, it's in a box. I'm not sure just where it is right now. I've got the um, inside of the top painted. These are for lights. They'll just be little clear uh, lenses that will go in here to represent lights. And then these are to represent a couple of vents, which course don't show up on the outside but I'll be painting this in the uh, gray and uh, that'll be all good to go to be put on this is more of the interior I, I painted the interior green I, I masked this off because that's where the glue joints going to be and then I can come along later and touch it up on the on the under side and then the outside will be uh, be the gray I'll have to um, insert the windows. Should be real easy to do after everything's painted, so I don't have to mask them. This is the other side. Um, these two real fine hooks here are to support the ladder. I went ahead and put them on because I wanted to get them painted. Just have to be real, real careful with them. And the other side is painted green also. Uh, the bus version of this actually had representation I guess of roll down windows and they left the little holes here I could have filled them I guess but it doesn't really matter they did include cranks to put in these places for the bus version so that's why those little holes are there and then doors I've got the uh, door handle on this is the right front on the inside there's the door handles and this is a uh, connection point here for uh, an opening device just like a school bus to where you pull the lever and then um, the door opens so the bottom part of this panel will be green but everything else will be the you know the top of the frame and the exterior will all be the gray and then I'll insert the windows uh, this is the other front, basically exactly the same. And these are the back. The uh, back one has a four little photo edge steps to make it to where you can get on top. I wouldn't want to haul all that luggage up on up and down with that. I guess you'd be using the ladder for most of it, but that's easy access to the to the um, route roof rack on top and then the interior they're painted green and uh, the upper frames and the outside will all be the gray uh, two more storage cabinets for inside I haven't weathered them or anything but they're all painted up and good to go these are the um, oxygen and acetylene cylinders in the US, oxygen is green, acetylene is black. I have no idea what it was, you know, when this was supposed to be uh, used. So I went ahead and went with those colors. Um, hang on. This is a work lamp for one of the. Uh, cabinets in the back. I painted up in the green, or the, excuse me, the blue. That'll all be good to go to install. I'm hoping that I can get that part done by next week. These are actually 
uh, little roll-up curtains for the back. There's, uh, I believe, there's five or six on each side, and uh, I've got them all primed. I've got to get them all painted up and weathered, and then they'll glue on after the windows, right above the windows on the inside, uh, as a representation where you could close the curtains, I guess, to keep everything out, keep keep you know people from looking in. Okay. I think we're about done for the day. I really appreciate everybody watching. Um, this has been a lot of fun for me. I uh, <laughs> playing with the camera here. I'm experimenting with some new uh, software, as you saw in the last couple of shots. But anyway, um, thanks a lot for looking. I appreciate all my subscribers and comments very, very much. Um, you guys have a good one. I got one little more thing to show you. Um, the horn that um, goes on the front of the truck, the carpet monster got it. So I made one. And I've got just a couple of quick little shots of me on the lathe. Uh, just kind of cutting that out. So then that'll be the end of it. But thanks a lot and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.